Friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Resident Evil 4 over here at Lost Time Gaming. I'm Devo. We are jumping back into the shoes of Leon S. Kennedy. And when we last left off, we were making our way through the castle. Now, we lost Ashley a little bit ago, which, uh... Oh, depending on who you ask, may or may not be a bad thing. Wow, really? Okay, jeez. But, suffice to say, we don't have to worry about Ashley accidentally dying now. So that's probably for the best. But all that means is now we just gotta be worried about us not dying. Oh, come on. Fine, you want me to go a super double X pro on you? Come on, I'll pistol kill you from here. Don't make me do it. Oh, that's really far away. Ha! Got him. Need one more? Yeah, you need one more. There you go. Like a glove. <laughs> she said meeting you once was enough. What, what's true Salazar fashion? Actually, you know what? Don't answer that. I don't want to know. Yeah, lower the drawbridge. Oh, oh, uh, there's, uh... Oh, you were expecting me. <clears throat> yeah, come on. Come on, just run right into this grenade. Why don't you? Woo-hoo! It's just that easy. Nope. Get off of me, you creepy weirdo with the spider on your back. You don't want to get... Cheaters get the TMP! Nice. <laughs> it's it's just that easy. Uh, now the real question is, we got gunpowder wise? Not a lot. Make some old pistol bullets here. And make sure we throw in our boot knife so we're not wasting our good knife. So, the, the awesome part about this section we're doing now is that in the original Resident Evil 4, I hated this section. Not because it was hard. What's that noise? Oh, there's somebody at the top of the steps. It was just, like, annoying. It was one of the, the least fun sections of the original Resident Evil 4, which was, like, the clock tower. And you had to basically climb the clock tower, and there was, like, little blocks of wood that was stopping the clock. And you had to, like, eyeball them from different heights and vantage points. And it was just, really just... Well, hey. Oh, no, why are you... Why are you off screen for that? Well... Yeah, where are you going? I'm... Are you gonna, you gonna climb up the ladder, really? Okay, come on. Come on. Step right up, step right up. Yeah, that didn't, uh... That didn't really work out well for either of you, now did it? The answer is no. But now I have to go down here and grab this stuff. I guess I could have waited till you climbed up. But it was more fun to shoot you while you tried to climb a ladder. Pistol bullets, yes, give me. Alright, I think that's all that's up here. Yeah, okay, let's mosey on. Not through here, of course. Um, I guess we're going down? Does it really matter, is the question. Oh, yeah. Up led outside. This, uh, this ain't leading outside. Ah, uh, yes, the torture storage annex, of course. Oh, hey, guy at the long haul. What's up? Yeah, you chose Scythe, a literally a terrible melee weapon, whereas I have Pistol. A functional weapon for all occasions. <laughs> now you can stand there, it's, it's not going to do you any good, I'm going to be honest with you. Yep, you see how that didn't help you at all. Ah, 
I hear people walking around, but I don't see people walking around. Wait, actually, where the heck are we supposed to go now? Because that's still locked. Hmm. Oh, there's a door this way. A uh, duh. You cannot defeat my sick martial arts skills. Kick you in the face. I do like that Leon is way more uh, melee capable than he was in the original Resident Evil 4. Not so much like, and I, I don't want to say that like having him be that way is like the be all end all. Because if, if you were to ever have played Resident Evil 6, you know, uh, Leon is basically a greasy ninja in Resident Evil 6, and he's basically untouchable, depending on how you play him. Now, that being said, that game's objectively terrible. Uh, and I, I know that that may not jive with what a lot of people think about the game, but like it is. It's it's a bad game. It's not, it's not like it was designed poorly, like it has poor decision choices like, uh, like Fatal Frame 3 does, where like certain aspects of the game just don't work well because they were... They weren't really thought through well. It's just like a, the, the entire game seems kind of cheap, if that makes any sense. Sorry. Which is weird, because the assets aren't like, you know, crappy looking or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, the, the entire experience of the game is pretty uh, immediately forgettable, if nothing else. Ah, maybe we go down here. Get treasure. Step three profit. Yeah. Yes, give me all the treasure. Hmm, ornate necklace with, ooh, two squares and two circular slots. Do we got, got enough for that? We do, sweet. Let's inlay us some gemstones. No, not there. There we go. And I guess we'll go through, go for the four-way multiplier here. Yeah, four color bonus, 1.6. There you go. Yeah. That looks lovely. I never understood personally the the importance of like hyper gaudy jewelry with stuff that has, you know, countless tiny gemstones embedded into it and then like, you know, like the one we just put gemstones in like has also massive big, you know, hilariously huge gemstones. Like simple jewelry I can understand like a, you know, a chain with a simple adornment of some kind. Even if it's a, like a singular jewel or something along the lines of that, like that always made sense, but all the jewelry in Resident Evil 4 basically is always like, wow, look at that, what, would somebody actually wear that? And the answer is like, no, not really. That's one of those things that people just say, oh, look at this thing I have, and then never use it ever. Oh, that's cheating. Oh, you're cheating now. Come here. Yeah, your wooden shield is no match for my knife of justice. All right, maybe it is. All right. Clearly, clearly your shield is better than I am. <laughs> but, oh, we're short on magnum ammo. That's a shame. Wish I had some shotgun shells, to be honest with you. I don't have enough gunpowder for that. Okay. I'm going to run away like a little baby. Yeah, can't can't shoot me from there when I'm not there, can you? Yeah, shield doesn't do good when I shoot you in the face, does it? There you go. You know, shield guys are absolutely 100% no problem as long as you have shotgun shells. Nope. I don't know what you were saying, but you just you'd stop. Ooh, a little stab in the jaw before he fell over. Nice. We are kind of running short on pistol ammo right now, though. That's unfortunate. Oh, I didn't see that up there. Yeah, I could have easily shot that and killed that person with the crossbow. That's some my bad. Oh. Right, we still boarded off. 
Oh yeah. Thank you for the clarification, Leon. I wasn't aware of how much anus pain they were causing up until you said that. And you're just gonna keep throwing that, ain't you? The answer is yes. Oh. I thought there might have been stuff over here. Wait, is there stuff? Ooh, there might be stuff. Crouch for cover. Oh man, that would hurt so bad to get in with something like that. Oh no, this is just a way back. We, we we don't need this at all. This is of no help to anyone. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Oh, you thought I was going over there. Joke's on you. I was not. What what is the point? Oh, maybe I'm trying to wonder like what was the point of them doing that, but I guess there's no point. That, that didn't open that. I thought it would have. <laughs> yep. He just, like, picks up a bunch of crap, smashes it together, and then throws it at us. That's great. Egoleon, run like your heart depended on it. Leon, Leon, you need to hurry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's way too much going on here. You know, I ain't got time for that. Yeah, that's that's all the time I didn't have for that. Oh, incoming. Nope. No soup for you. Man, that is just a lot of rocks and debris, man. Oh, hello, bullets. Wouldn't leave you behind. All right, let's boogie. Oh, errors have been made. Come on, Leon. Oh, hey, that's probably okay. Oof, that was close. Yeah, it'd be a shame if you got hit by big giant rocks. <laughs> Jerk. Can't see behind the dust cloud. Eh. There you go. Oh, nice. That person almost fell off. Fun times. And ragdoll physics have come so far over the years. So far. All right. Pull the switch to sunlight. Daylight mode activated. Yep, throw your rocks. Come on. There you go. Yeah, now I am the one who is cheating. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that was close. Almost made a grievous error there. Ah, oh, yes, explosive barrel. Don't mind if I... Wait, why is there an explosive barrel here? Just realized that that's usually uh, not a good sign. Bullets, wait for the next throw. Go, go, ladder. Go, go, ladder. Yes. Ten. Good work. Fun fact, cannons are not rifled. <laughs> Just... Regular old school artillery cannons do not contain barrel rifling. I'm almost positive of that because they fired balls, not um, not like a, a bullet in the traditional sense. Could be wrong, but I, I really don't think I am. That'll teach you to jump down a ladder. Safety first, three point contact, always. Now 
My guess is we're going up this ladder here. Yep, nothing else here. Okay. Climb, Leon. Climb like your heart depends on it. It doesn't, but... Sometimes you just gotta have a little pep in your step. Yeah, elbow that thing made of metal and concrete. <laughs> Oh wait, I did I did notice Leon is wearing elbow pads, so I guess that checks out. Very rarely does games have their action hero wearing protective gear that isn't just like, you know, ballistic armor, like a bulletproof vest. But he's, he's wearing full on like safety elbow pads, that's great. Say hello to my not so little friend. Yeah, I bet that's it. Wow, Leon throwing the gloves down. Nice. Well, those people are toast. Oh, the door. Oh, I was aiming for the people. Yeah, that works too, I guess. All right. Open for traffic. <laughs> nice, nice quip, Leon. You know, staring down insurmountable danger with really, really hard, hardly, uh, fair odds, and you, you still got enough time for a good old quip. Good job, Leon. Anything here? Bullets? Anything? No. We'll take this stuff, though. Pasetas! Mmm! Heh <laughs> That'll teach Sorry. you. I've had my fill of you guys. Oh, he fell into the abyss. Wow. It's weird, but like that thing's not dead. So like, there's just a giant armored, angry, hulking monstrosity let loose up on the world now. Should be like a side DLC where you just play as like a random, not parasite infected villager, just trying to track down the armored Ganados or the Gigantos. Gigantos? I, I don't know how they pronounce it properly. Wait, there's literally nothing in here? This seems like a room there's gotta be something in. But there is not. Okay. Ask and you shall receive. Ooh, we have rounds to reload in the revolver. Nice. Fun times. Oh, no. Ashley, where are you? Uh, this is another one of them set pieces that always sticks out in your mind playing original Resident Evil, the, uh, the hedge maze. And, oh, we've got no shotgun ammo. That's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, we can have a little. Some is better than none. Nice, good times. So the thing, the name of the game about the hedge maze, if it's anything like the original Resident Evil 4, is Dags. Big, angry, snarling Dags. Wow. Leon undid that bolt with a Thor tie. Afraid, you know. But you can't run. You gotta keep moving forward. We will beat this. Together. I don't know if I can. You can. Just give me a heads up. 
before you stab me next time, okay? <laughs> Leon, uh, thanks. Yes. Thank you, Leon, for being awesome at everything ever. All right, so let's pop a save. Let's see. I guess we can start up here. No, we got a 44 here. Let's do that. So it looks like we're reunited with Ashley here. Let's take a look at our chapter results. Let's see. Okay, cool. 70%. Our accuracy is still going down, unfortunately. Though, to be fair, we use the TMP quite a bit in this, uh, this section, so that makes sense. Luis, where are you? Sorry, I, uh, I screwed up. Come to my rescue, Prince Charming. I'll show you Charming, pal. Come on. I'm in the ballroom past the courtyard. Don't be late to the dance. I can't believe that guy. He's in trouble. We can't just leave him, right? Yeah, I mean, technically we are working in tandem with Luis. Regardless of how much of a uh, a blowhard he tries to be, I think uh, that's the correct term I want to use there in that situation. But who knows? Well, we got plenty of TMP bullets for whatever reason. I'm not sure how that happens, but I'm okay with it. Oh yes, gotta make sure we get all the vases, the vases, the giant ceramic pots that contain bullets for whatever reason. Need to make sure we get all of them. Oh, there's treasure way over there. I gotta keep a mental note of that. Although in a hedge maze, keeping a mental note of something is pretty much useless. Alright, we just saved it. We don't need to save it again. Oh, hedge maze. How I loathe you. Because this in the original game was one of those sections where if you weren't armed right, if you didn't have the right ammunition or... Your guns weren't, you know, where they should be. This is going to be a really hard section for you. Because, well, there's dogs, right? And, like, the dogs aren't inherently super dangerous. But, as you can imagine, going through... Oh, crap. We don't have a... I don't have any flashbangs here. As you can imagine... Dogs jumping through the hedge mazes is, uh, not good. And the thing is, is that the hedges are permeable for enemies, but not you. So. I think what we have to do here is, yeah, we've got lower flags, right? And there's three towers. Got this one, which we can just kind of go right up here and do get it out of the way again this is another one of those like things where it's like yeah this works for like an in-game mechanic but no one would have ever built this ever under any circumstances yes thank you Ashley I was there I saw okay this is where we came in yeah okay so we already blew past a turn with stuff yep that is one of the upsides to the hedge maze, is that there's stuff. Lots of stuff, because there's lots of turns. What's the point of that having a hedge maze? It doesn't have a lot of branches. So basically, if we're ever stuck in a old-timey classic maze, there's one surefire way to, oh, to defeat a old-school style maze. And that is to find, like, uh, as soon as you enter the maze, make a turn and follow the wall. Now, a circular maze can uh, throw this method for a loop, but as long as you follow the outside wall, you will eventually get to the end of a maze. Because that's just the way, like, it works. You, you just hold left and keep going left and, like, yeah, you'll go around passages that are useless, but you'll you'll continuously make progress. And that's all that really matters with a maze. I hear dogs. Where you at? Well, there are dogs, but they're, uh, they're being elusive. Oh, 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 hey, hey. Just pop right out of the box. All right, cool. 
Not not dangerous or anything at all. How's my health? Should I eat a snake raw? No, we can we can hold off on eating raw snakes yet. Not for very long. Getting the MGS3 snake eater vibes going on here. Just wanna like, mmm, snakes. Give me back my calories. Okay, so I think that's everything in this little branch off here. No, oh, this is the last turn point we had of any consequence. Let's go this way. And that's another thing, you can hear the dogs through the the shrubbery. But it's really a matter of where they're gonna come from. Oh right, right there or no, what's what's going on? I hear dogs, I don't see dogs. Oh, there's dogs. Don't shoot Ashley in the face. Ashley! I said don't shoot You're Ashley right. in the face. Yeah, I'm fine. Cool. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna eat a raw viper. Ah, delicious. Yeah, I feel like a dog was supposed to come out and attack us from behind, and it didn't. And now it's just... It's gonna do it at, like, the worst possible time now. Just kind of backwards walking in here, making sure there isn't anything. Weird, I've been playing Metro Exodus lately, so I keep seeing torches, and I'm like, oh, I should walk up to those and extinguish those. So they're not ruining my, uh, ruining my light detection. Nope, not today. Oh, that one's, like, chewing at the fence. That's, that's horrific. Yeah, no big deal. I don't think we can actually shoot them through that fence either, so we're just gonna keep on moving. Just ignore them. Yeah, I think, whoa, 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 what was that? Ashley, why, why are you going over there? Ashley? Did you not see the big giant dog? <laughs> Ashley's like, yeah, I'm just trying to not die here. Like, yeah, it's, I, I, I can understand that. Ooh, elegant chessboard, nice. Uh, let's reload the rifle. Good times. Give everything a nice tasty reload here. But you can see what I meant about uh, not having shotgun shells being a huge liability in this section. Ah, another tower. Throw the hilariously large switch. Ah, yes. Yes, a flag unfurling causes another flag to unfurl. Yeah. Which is 33.3% of a interlocking lock system. You know, as you do. Oh, none of that. We haven't found enough to make more of that, have we? No, we have not. That is... that's unfortunate. Uh, we're one shy of making magnum rounds, so we'll hold off. Hopefully we can get by with a... I gonna say... Where did, where did this go? But it, it just goes, so don't worry about it. I think this leads back to the open area, right? Yeah, there's, there's just angry dog snarling coming from, like, all directions now, and it's extremely unnerving, if I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> and that's one of the things Resident Evil 4 did great, and still is doing, as far as I'm concerned, is it just, it gives you anxiety. But, like, that's kind of, like, why you're here sort of deal, like, you're here for the anxiety. Oh, shotgun shells, yes, please. Thank you. See, the game knows what I want. And was like, yeah, you want some shotgun shells. Probably just give them to you. No. That's a bad dog. What? Who dares? You okay? Yeah, no sweat. Oh, hi, doggy. Um, no, let's not waste that. One down. 
Oh crap. Oof. Yeah, the it's weird because the the dog uh Las Plagas seem to be way hardier than their human counterparts. I mean clearly you can't uh can't really control a dog as well as you can control a person, but Oh, you can shoot him through the fence. How about that? Hey, might I one-shot that dog? Good times. I guess if you're a pro, you can uh, you can do this without trying, sort of deal. But uh oh, uh oh, I hear a dog coming. I was like, I hear, I hear little footsteps padding along the stones, which is great because. Again, that's one of those things you can kind of easily take for granted in a game like this. Here, hold this down. Is that okay. that's what a dog running on like cobblestone would sound like, almost to a T, and that's why I instantly knew what it was. It wasn't just like a a you know generic footstep noise. Some poor foley artist like probably recorded a dog Careful. running on tile. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I'm careful. I'm real careful. Careful like a fox. I still hear dogs out there. Which is bad. Because as you can imagine, like, Ashley's unguarded at the time being. But I think it's just kind of like st stuck over on this side, so it's not a... Not a huge problem. Alright. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't do anything as soon as I pull this lever. Now we can finally get out of this maze. Uh oh. Stars. No, that's bad. Let me let me. Run. Oh, I did have a flashbang. Huh, how about that? Yeah, I want to say one of them was running directly for Ashley. Hey, the lady said no, pal. Wait, did Ashley just have a panic attack and fall over? Uh, no, I'm okay. Ashley, get down. Give me a break already. Okay. Alright, you alright, Ashley? Yeah? Cool. So, that being said, that's about all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me on another exciting look into the world of Resident Evil 4. I'm Devo Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Oh, 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 that's bad, that's bad. <laughs>